there, it's Jenny. In this video, I will be showing you how to make this baby mobile. Oh, it's a little tangled here. There you go. This baby mobile. And this honestly did not cost me much to make at all. It was very easy to make as well. So please continue watching if you would like to learn how to make this super cute, modern, simplistic baby mobile. So I've already purchased a crib mobile. You might have seen it in the Target haul or our nursery tour. But yeah, it's just this thing from Target. And it's really cute and all. It's just, um, I don't know. Like, it doesn't really fit the theme of our nursery. We don't have a ton of animals in our nursery. So I figured I would make one that our baby can enjoy probably later on because I'm going to use the one we currently have when he's still like really small and then when he's a little bit older I think I'm going to hang this from the ceiling a little bit higher so he won't be able to reach it but yeah that's kind of my plan I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling this on my Etsy shop yet so if you're interested go ahead and check out you know my Etsy shop, see if I have it listed. I haven't really decided, and if I do make some, I'm not gonna make a whole ton. So, whenever you're watching this video, and instead of making it, if you wanna just buy it, doesn't hurt to check my Etsy shop to see if it's there. All right, starting off, you will need an embroidery hoop. Mine is eight inches in diameter, and I got this for $1.99 at Hobby Lobby. You will only need the inner ring for this project. I also have some white yarn. Um, this white yarn I thrifted, but you can find white yarn anywhere. And you will cut three 50 inch long strings. You're going to find the center of all three and just loop it and tie a knot like so. This will be where you hang the mobile from. Pull it nice and tight. Now we're going to lay all the strings flat and we're going to measure 7 inches down from the knot. I'm just using a pen here to mark on each string. The dots will serve as an indicator as to where you will tie each string onto the hoop. And for each string, just tie a double knot so it's nice and secure. And once you tie it on, you can slide it around so that it's equal distance. And now we're just going to grab a needle with a fairly large eye. I misplaced my needle threader, so I'm just using an earring here to thread the yarn through the eye of my needle. And here I just have this pack of wood beads from Michaels. They were $9.99, but I used my 40% off coupon on them. And you're just going to use the needle to thread the beads onto the yarn. I'm also using these felt pom-poms that I picked up at Joann's. It comes in a pack like this with ivory, white, navy, gray, and black pom-poms. For this project, I'm, I'm just picking out the black and white pom-poms. And here I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just using the needle and feeding the pom-poms through. Alright, here I just have the mobile hanging up so that I can play around with where I want each bead and pom-pom to land on each yarn. And of course, I'm going to trim off the excess yarn at the bottom. I've also decided to tie a knot at the bottom of the wooden beads. Um, I don't really need to do that for the pom-poms since they're pretty secure, but the wooden beads are a little heavy, and I was afraid that they might slip down over time. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this super cute crib mobile. Um, if you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I just love it so much. I'm just so excited. I think there's something so special about handmade baby things and yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.